Guys, I knew that eventually I would get a ticket as a driver. But I never thought I'd get a ticket for this. I feel like a pinnacle lazy right now. I'm like, eh. So I want to take, oh, oh. Wow, this snow is still soft. What? And now it's behind my car. Man, if I ever broke my arm, ugh, I would never be able to go anywhere. Not just because I drive a stick, but because power steering, man. It's a gift that you never realize you need it until you don't have it. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Welcome to this episode of Car Rant. Today, it's a little bit of story time. I unfortunately was sick for the past couple of weeks dealing with my seasonal post nasal drip that I get. It's very annoying. With that said, I unfortunately couldn't do any mods or anything like that on the car. So uh, today, as I'm driving to go meet up with Ishmael, get some grubbins because it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. And there's ice just flying off the hood of this car. <laughs> I'm actually carrying a very big chunk of ice on my car right now. Normally I would clear it off, but I'm taking back roads to get to Ishmael's job. So, you know, I'm not going very fast, I'm not too worried about it. But I figured I would share with you some story time. I have done many things in cars that are probably not legal. Um, not condoning illegal activity, I'm just being honest and saying that, you know, sometimes I like to drive a little fast, sometimes I like to drive a little uh, aggressive, and sometimes I get pulled over and I don't get tickets. It's a weird thing. I had been pulled over more than once for speeding, speeding i have a couple of stories with that one to share but for some reason out of all the times i've ever gotten pulled over i got a ticket for this one thing i've been pulled over doing 90 to 55 that was literally a week after getting my license in my car and going up to new york to see my family because i hadn't seen them in a while i have been didn't get a ticket for that one i have been pulled over for doing supposedly 45 and a 25 is actually 45 or 40 ish in a 35 so still legally he could pull me over but in this state if you're not aware Virginia has a very strict speeding law where if you go 20 miles or above uh, yeah you can go to jail depending on how the officer feels that day so <clears throat> with that said you kind of have to be very careful about how you drive in this state if you want to go fast there are times where I should have been pulled over, you know. Uh, I was coming off an on-ramp, carrying my speed because it's fun for me, doing 60. There was a cop right there, and the speed limit dropped to 40 right before that on-ramp, so I could have been hit with a booking of going 60 to 40. Still didn't get pulled over, no tickets there. So, with that said, there have been other times too where I've done like 80, 100 on the highway, and I pass a cop going, <gasps> And I look behind me and he's just not paying attention. So I'm like, okay, thank you, Jesus. I am going to live another day. Awesome. <laughs> but the one time I ever got pulled over, mind you, I've been pulled over in all my cars, except for right now, the Honda. And the only time I ever got pulled over in the Evo, ironically, was me trying to merge with traffic. The officer thought I was doing it too fast and pulled me over and tried to say I was speeding. And I'm like, sir, I'm doing 55 on a 55 just because i got off the on-ramp faster than you doesn't mean that i'm speeding it just means that i'm actually going the speed limit i'm supposed to go some people just don't pay attention and think that because you're going faster than they are you must be speeding or because your car is loud you must be speeding then i look at this honda and go i'm not speeding sir i'm just loud because my exhaust broke off <laughs> quick little side note with the whole thing about getting pulled over in the evo when I did get pulled over, the officer, I turned the car off because I'm like, he's going to check me for a exhaust and then see that I'm not registered in Winchester or in a county that doesn't have emissions and I'll get hit for that. And uh, <laughs> so I turned the car back on to leave. Uh, he says, you know, just take it easy and uh, get that exhaust fixed and you'll be all set. And I'm like, sure thing, sir. Will do. Chris is next to me in the car because we were just joyriding the car because I just got it back after a while not having it. Chris was next to me in the car and he was dying because he was about to start making jokes about my car's exhaust being broken because it was straight piped. He, he thought, the officer thought it was a mad exhaust leak because it was loud or whatever and I'm just like, sure thing sir, will do, I'll take care of them, no problem. Chris is over here just falling apart at the seams because he can't control himself. Oh, Chris, if I went to jail that day, I would be calling you for bail money. 
<laughs> but now for the, the meat of the story, the thing that I got pulled over for was legitimately probably the stupidest thing I've ever done because I wasn't paying attention. And to give you guys some backstory, here in the state of Virginia, we have the ability to turn right on red. And I say that to say that some states don't have the right on red law. New York is one of them. I know plenty of people who've gone to New York, turned right on red and got a ticket within seconds because an opportunistic cop saw out of state tag and went, oh, I bet you they're gonna do it because they didn't brush up on their laws. So with that said, I was driving around, ironically enough, again with Chris, and we were just checking out the you know, checking out the town, just enjoying a night. It's about maybe 9 30, 10 o'clock. And we get, I came up to a light there in the town of Leesburg. It's a light on Catoctin Circle at East Market Street for those of you who are local. Right as I got up to this light, I look, I look left, I look right. Yeah, I don't see anybody going. I double check my left again as I'm turning right. And I take the tricks, I see some people are way up the hill. I'm like, okay, cool, I'm good. This is the one and only time ever, I'm still upset about this, this was like a month and a half ago. Still the one and only time I've ever not paid attention to a street sign like that because I never miss this light. I always see it, I'm a stickler for the rules when it comes to traffic lights and whatnot because traffic lights do in fact help keep us a little bit safer and all that jazz, especially in this area where people just don't know how to drive very well. And as soon as I did, I realized, oh no, this is the one time there's a sign that says no turn on red. And what's sad is it's not even a light that really it should have a no turn on red light on or a red sign on. It should say no turn on red during these hours because realistically, Leesburg after like 7.30, there's nothing. So the fact that this is even there, it's kind of a bit of an anomalous situation. But as soon as I did that, I realized like, oh no. I just turned right on red, and I shouldn't have, and now I'm gonna get hit with a fat ticket if there's a cop. Two seconds, I told Chris this too, two seconds after this happens, blue lights in my mirror, I was like, you've got to be kidding me, dude. Really? I pull into a lot, and I look across the street, there's a Bank of America there, uh, I've used that bank more than once, ironically enough, and there is another cop sitting in that spot, so I'm like, even if, that one officer that pulled me over, who will remain nameless, uh, even if he didn't pull me over, the other guy would have. And I also realized as soon as that happened, I was like, oh no, oh no, I'm in such a bad position now. Because now, he has to give me a ticket. There's, there's peer pressure involved. It'd be one thing if there was no officer behind him, or another officer there. Because there was another one there, I realized to myself, he's gonna give me a ticket because otherwise it looks bad. You're letting people off, bro. Why are you letting people off, you know? And I'm just like, oh God, this is not gonna be good. Pulled into the lot, told the officer, listen, man, I I realized after I did what I did, like I wasn't paying attention and I screwed up, I'm sorry. You know, I'm just, at this point, I'm, I am in fact trying to go home. And the next thing I know, I'm handed a $140 ticket. I was like, are you kidding? And it was literally just failure to obey a traffic sign, which is why I looked at the officer kind of like, really? Like, you're saying that you're reducing it, but that's literally all I did. He was trying to say that there's a statute in the town, and I'm gonna look this up later. I don't think it's real. If it is, I'll probably leave a comment in the comment section saying whether or not it is, saying that you can get hit with an even heftier fine, and that he was trying to be nice by letting me just have that. And I was like, mm -mm, no, brother. That's definitely not what's happening here. And I know this because, like, this isn't a thing. <laughs> but, yep, $140 ticket for just blanking out for two seconds. Didn't even endanger anyone, but blanked out for two seconds, and I got hit with a $140 fine because I turned right on red. Wasn't in New York. I was here on my normal home turf here in Virginia. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, I'm still very burnt up about that because that was one of those one of those moments where it's like that should not have happened, and now I'm kind of upset that it did happen. Why? But all that said, I want to know your stories. What has happened to you that you just sat there and gone, "Are you kidding me? Why is this happening right now? 
how did I get a ticket for this? Why am I getting a ticket for this? I want to know your stories. Leave them in the comment section below. Um, there'll be other stories like this eventually because I kind of enjoy sharing some of the stupid stuff that's happened in my life. Hence why I do a YouTube channel. So with that said, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on another episode. God bless y'all. And peace. Oh, I just drifted the Honda. That was cool. Okay, now God bless you guys. Peace.